Alright, before we start talking about what's new from Milwaukee Tools, my friend and I want to please ask you to consider subscribing. Just go right at the bottom of the screen right now. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to do this. Click the subscribe button and while you're there, go right over to the side and click the notification bell. When you do that, you'll get notifications when we produce all of our videos our how-tos, our best practices, our tool reviews, and of course, our famous head-to-head -head tool test reviews. So please, subscribe right now and hit that notification bell. Come on, you can do it. All right, great. See, that was easy, right? Right. All right, let's get going. What does Milwaukee have to offer? Let's find out. So finally, some super exciting news from our friends at Milwaukee. Milwaukee is working hard at supplying professional carpenters and remodelers with core specific tools. Their new Milwaukee M18 fuel compressor, it's a two gallon, super quiet compressor, is definitely late to the table. But they used their time wisely and they improved on what other cordless compressor trailblazers have done. The first thing I noticed when I turned on the comp this Milwaukee compressor was how quiet it was. You can have a normal conversation while this unit is running. Just stand there and talk right over it, with it below you. It's that quiet. The annoying thing so, when the compressor goes. What's the most annoying thing when the compressor's on? You can't have a conversation. But I can have a conversation right now. Yeah, you definitely can. I can I hear you loud and clear. Quiet. So it emits 68 decibels, making it probably making it the quietest cordless compressor on the market. It's quieter than the cordless DeWalt compressor that we've tested and used, which puts out 80 decibels. Um, it's also quieter than most of the corded uh, little Senko compressors and things that we use, with the exception of our Rollair JC10 compressor. That puts out 60 decibels, the, and that's corded. The fit and finish of this compressor is nice. Metal roll cage is sturdy and robust. There's a robust control uh, dial, drain, and power switch. Real nice. Front plastic compressor motor cover is plastic and wiggles a bit. That's the only thing in this compressor that I felt felt a little cheap. Milwaukee designed this as a suitcase style compressor and that means it's going to have a lower profile on one end and longer on the other. Met this metal row cage basically allows it to be the stacked vertically, taller or horizontally. There's also a secondary um, handle and allows for super easy carrying. Its lower profile also gives you a lower center of gravity, and we notice that means it sits sturdier on the floor and prevents tipping. Um, additionally, the compressor sits nicely on top of some packout boxes that we have, but it does not attach to them, and we don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Who knows? They might do it. Now, as far as runtime goes, the compressor is compatible with all of Milwaukee's M18 batteries. It can install 1600. 18 gauge brad nails per charge. And I think Milwaukee advertises that with a five amp hour battery. Um, we ran it with a HD 12 amp hour battery and we shot the compressor using, uh, shot it with uh, one by six tongue and groove boards on a 14 foot by six, uh, 20 ceiling. We we're installing this bead board. We used two nailers on the install. One was an electric uh, compressor plug-in. The other was a Milwaukee compressor. Both nailers shot a ton of nails and we made it to about one o'clock in the afternoon before we changed the battery. The two gallon dual pump compressor puts out 135 PSI of max air pressure uh, and air delivery of 40 PSI at 1.7 SCFM and 90 PSI at 1.2 SCFM. Uh, look, its main purpose is small finished carpentry, punchless stuff, staples, finished nailers, brad nailers, stuff like that. It is not designed to be used, um, nor does it have the CFM capacity to be used for a framing, roofing, impact, painting or automotive applications. Additionally, it was built for one nailer. If you wanted to run two, you, you know, maybe you're the only user and you're switching off. But basically running two nailers off this compressor at the same time will stress the CFM requirement. Uh, other applications for this compressor, it's great for tire inflation and pressure testing for plumbing. On our 1x6 tongue and groove beadboard installation we were doing on the walls and ceiling, it was for a man cave shed we're building. Each board received approximately 12 to 15 15 gauge two, two inch nails. And the compressor was able to do about 11 nails before it recycled for air. The compressor is absolutely quiet. It's low profile design is nice and it stores really nice in my truck and trailer. 
This compressor is going to sell for around $350 for a bare tool. So my overall impression, overall, it's quiet. If you're like me, you're, he you're probably heavily invested in pneumatic nailers and you're not ready to give them up yet. I use them in the shop all the time. The compressor allows me to be able to use those nailers where there's no power supply, or I, I don't, maybe I don't want to stress out or reduce the amperage off of maybe a 15 amp circuit that I'm running a miter saw or a table saw off of, or something else that I'm plugged into. Either way, nice work, Milwaukee. I really like this one. Um, guys, look, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. If you'd like to support this channel, please consider becoming a channel member. I'm Rob Robillard, and we'll see you next time here at Toolbox Buzz.